all of this snow, but they just aren't common around here. You're exactly right. In fact, snow can be very rare in eastern North Carolina, at least big enough to call a big snowstorm. And that's because we have a lot of different factors that have to come together. Meteorologist Pierce Legion joining us now with more. Yeah, guys, and I think really the biggest surprise as far as forecasting winter weather, I think Jerry can agree to this, is that temperatures not just at the ground level, but all the way up are really important in that forecasting. Here in eastern North Carolina, we have most of our snowstorms are, are borderline situations. We don't always have that cold air in place. And a fresh batch of cold air arriving at just the right time is just one of the ingredients needed for big snows here in the east. Typically, our big snowmakers are born in the Gulf of Mexico and work their way up the east coast. The Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean provide the moisture, but they can also be a source of warm air. And a storm that draws in warm air can be a big wintry mess. Looking at a range of potential solutions because you got to get the moisture and the cold air. It has to be the right temperature profile throughout the entire atmosphere. As warm air intrudes above the ground, snow will change to sleet. If the process continues, you'll eventually get freezing rain. Once the ground temperature rises above freezing, precipitation will change to all rain. A storm that hugs the coast will tend to pull in warmer air from the Atlantic, meaning mostly rain for us. But the farther offshore the storm stays, the less the potential for that to happen. Exactly what you want if you're a snow lover. A fresh source of cold air, a moisture source, and a favorable low track. Three ingredients that have to come together at the right time for big snows in the east. Out of the three, having the cold air needed for an all-out blizzard is a rarity here. And it often takes a few days to really nail down a winter storm forecast. A shift of even just 50 to 100 miles in the track of the storm can make a huge difference. Meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side.